Uh, my tool set's always changing and evolving. So I'm just going to quickly go over my latest tool set. Um, I still use this little bucket to sit on, but I've got a cushion now. Uh, I've got my abrading stone, and I've narrowed it down to two pieces of elk antler. Uh, this one's my general purpose uh, bopper. This is my mallet and uh, general purpose percussion. I've got uh, two diamond files. One is rounded, and one is flat. I've narrowed it down to two pressure flakers, one pointed, one flat. Um, I've bought some more plastic. This is my original uh, indirect percussion flaker. Let's see, zoom out. Um, this one is, uh, let's see. Because it's a little over six inches long. And the new one that I got is uh, pretty close to 10 inches. So all three of these are 10 inches. Different sizes of wire. I'm using this a lot now. It's a one inch diameter. This is three quarters. This is inch and a quarter. Uh, file for sharpening the copper. Three different sizes of copper. This is actually a copper rod and these two are copper wire I get at the hardware store. Uh, snips for snipping the wire to size and also for removing the, the wire when it gets worn out. I just pull it out here. There's no set screws or anything. I just push it into the hole there. Uh, I am going to use gloves more often now. Uh, I've gotten rid of all my soft hammer stones and I'm only using hard hammer stones now. I still have my pressure flaking pad. Uh, my latest uh, arrowheads. Uh, you're familiar with these. This is a knife I made a couple days ago. It's sort of like a Montel knife, but I'm going to I'm going to haft it and use it for some of the future videos as a tool. Uh, these are all heat treated stone except for this one here. I've heated a bunch of stone lately. This is the same type of stone but this is raw and this is heated. This here is uh, raw. And this one is from this heat treated batch. There's quite a bit of difference, both in the workability and in the color. I tried to get these as thin as I could. And you can see that uh, it's easier to get the heat treated one thinner. And it's actually longer too. So I've been having a lot of fun heat treating lately. Uh, this is a Cahokia style. This is a uh, Edwards and this is a Harrell. Quarter for size reference. So that's basically my modern tool set. I'm still developing my uh, my Abo uh, set. I may replace this. It's starting to uh, to get worn out and it got wet lately so it's I may need to wash it but I will develop my uh, ABO tool set and show that to you in a, in a little while. That's it.